of four pallets, jam packed. I think it's roughly 2,000 pounds. Oh boy. It's a Lily uh, Pulitzer. Let's Lord. see. Hopefully, I can. Unless it's like khaki, like yeah. pants. <laughs> can I get a twirl? I mean, there might be more excitement in the back. Shtaima, pozdrav svima što nas gledaju. Oh, sorry. Wrong video. Hey, good morning. Thanks for watching. Today is a huge day. My name is Edin. I am one half of Hustle and Hooks alongside with my beautiful wife, Melinda. We run a six figure eBay reseller business. eBay plus 30% of our revenue is on Poshmark, I should say. And we make videos, vlogging our journey, showing you the ups and downs, all that fun stuff. We also recently developed an app. Go download Flipped app. It's a reseller tracker app for all of the platforms that you sell on, all in one, all in the palm of your hands. It's right there. It's right there. Just download it, check it out. It's a seven day free trial, then $9.99 per month. Today is a huge video because we are, we're out of stock. We, we don't have any inventory. This is all we have left actually. Um, roughly 60 pieces uh, plus the stuff to be picked. So 120 pieces. Not gonna cut it folks, not at 60 a day. So we ordered four pallets of unsorted goods. You're like, where are you gonna put all that? Ha, <laughs> right, right, right here, right here in this beautiful floor space. If you watched the last video, you can check it out here if you haven't. We did a bit of construction here to make floor space and to add shelving and all that good stuff. It was a lot of work, but definitely worth it and much needed. Right now it's uh, five minutes to seven in the morning. I need to call the local carrier to see if we are scheduled to get those four pallets delivered today or tomorrow. Hopefully today. Regardless, I will have to go and grab a pallet jack from our local wholesaler that sells industrial. He opens up at 9, so I have a little bit of time to do that. I also have to get roughly 60 orders picked and packed, so I'll walk you through that exciting experience with me. And hopefully, later on in this video well definitely later on in this video it just depends for you it doesn't matter if it's tuesday or monday right it just depends on if the truckload comes in today or tomorrow we're gonna start sorting through here so you can get that experience with us get all that dirty underwear and and those stained bed sheets and maybe some bugs some bed bites who knows maybe a brand new pair of gore-tex sorel boots are in there i don't know it's all unsorted and it's gonna be a good time Stay tuned. The carrier that's supposed to be delivering the pallets is USF Holland and they have a hub here in Wyoming or slash Grand Rapids. That's the first thing I'm going to do is just give them a call right now. I have all the information here in my handy dandy phone, the bill of lading, all that good stuff. Let's see uh, how good their customer service is. Schedule a pickup, track a shipment, request a quote, or any other customer service related issues, press one. That's us. Thank you for calling Holland Customer Service. Please hold for the next available agent. Good morning, Holland. Good morning. How's it going today? Just fine. Uh, I have a uh, shipment that's uh, supposed to be either delivered today or tomorrow. I have a bill of lading number. You don't have a tracking number? Or maybe it's a tracking number. I'm not sure. It's, uh, it's the sticker at the bottom of the paperwork with uh, your logo what, on it. What, what's, the, what's the number, hon? Uh, 689. Okay. Six. Okay. H H Corp. That's it. Alrighty. Uh, yep. So no should deliver late morning, early afternoon today, hon. That's amazing. Awesome. Um, just to confirm, it's a box truck with a Tommy gate. Uh, or at least some sort of truck with a Tommy gate, because I don't have a dock. Gate, hon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. You bet. Uh, do you bye know? Bye. Do you know roughly uh -huh. a, a time frame? Hang on a minute. Sure. Okay, we're looking at like eleven to one ish. Amazing. Can Thank you so much. Latest? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much again. Have a great, wonderful rest of your day. You too. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Obviously, very excited. Uh, super excited. My dad even called me yesterday after we were done working the warehouse. He's like, yeah, when the truck comes in, give me a call. I kind of want to pick through it too, because it's like that thrill. Melinda's going to be here later on too, because she loves uh, picking through stuff. It's exciting stuff. It really is. Anyways, I'm going to go start picking all the orders, get that stuff done uh, out of the way, and then prep the work for uh, 
Allie, who's going to be here, I think, at 10 a.m. today. Get her all set up and then uh, get the pal jack. They open up at 9 and just go from there. There is one dilemma that I have to figure out this morning on how we're going to sh ship, sh <laughs> not ship, how we're going to pick orders. And the dilemma is, um, well, let me get up here on these ladders and show you. So here's the dilemma. It's roughly five feet uh, is the gap between here. And I did that for a couple of reasons. So I'm uh, up here like a birdie. I gave myself five feet of space in case I wanted to upgrade ladders for flexibility. And also I'm thinking, well, if I employ like a orangutan type person like me, that, that's a joke because my wingspan is drastic. I can actually touch and reach both sides of the picking aisle. But the dilemma is, how am I going to be the most efficient when picking? I need to create a picking route so that I'm most efficient, so that I'm not climbing up and down this ladder multiple times. So that's kind of one of the benefits of having it this close. I'm going to go ahead and download the sales report and then sort by SKU and then figure out uh, the best way to do it. I might not figure it out all today just because it's my first time doing it, but at least I'll have a good idea and uh, kind of, you know, figure it out from there. Obviously, also, there's stuff down here on this side of the aisle. That side is not used right now, except for the racks, of course. Uh, so I don't have to figure that part out yet. Got them all. Uh, not all of them. Got most of them. Uh, I think we're going to start utilizing the shopping cart a bit more. These are most of the eBay orders. Time to get all these packed. Uh, check out Melinda's What's Sold videos if you want to learn more about what type of clothing we sell what they sell for, how much we earn. She breaks it all down and gives you great examples that you can find locally at your thrift stores, mom and pop shops, garage sales, so on and so forth. So I'm getting hungry. I got, uh, I don't know, a third of it done shipping wise. I'm gonna go grab some food. My friend recommended a restaurant that has two locations here in Grand Rapids called Real Food Cafe. I'm gonna go check them out, grab some food, grab that pallet jack, come right back, get back to work. There it is. It's uh, here on Eastern Street. You can see the sign eh, right about there. I'll let you know how the food is. The food at Real Food Cafe was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Check them out if you're looking for breakfast. Uh, they also had a bunch of desserts, including some delicious looking carrot cake. A uh, young fella walked in right behind me. There was no more tables left, so I invited him to sit with me. Cool guy. His name is Chris. Uh, works at a local uh, manufacturing company as a Ohio driver getting his education back had a good conversation about eBay reselling life his future It was a good time uh, Time to go see Tanner and get some more industrial equipment. I'll show you guys where this place is at. It's Clyde Park I'm actually pulling up to it uh, here Shortly so bear with me. So this is Clyde Park. It's a little bumpy here. Don't mind the Michigan roads there's a sign for it uh, right where my little finger is pointing. What is the business called? HCE. Herdigan Commercial Equipment. Herdigan Commercial Equipment. They're a wholesaler, uh, anything that you need for industrial. Also, there's a really good uh, manufacturer called Dakota Love. Still not convinced that that's an actual manufacturer. It looks like a gentleman's club. Uh, I'll never find out, but it's there. I'm gonna go grab that pal jack, see what else he has. I really want some lockers and I need some basic furniture too. He won't let me film in there. Uh, at least last time he didn't let me film in there. Maybe another time he said he needed to get a little bit more cleaned up, but super painless, got the pal jack. Uh, 150 bucks for the used pal jack, 15 bucks for this table. I just need something to put like stuff on, right? Like a little workstation. I'll show you where I'm gonna put it. But yeah, not bad at all for 150 bucks. Uh, back to the warehouse. It's icy. The pallet the camera's sitting on is gonna get moved. Steady, steady, let's go for a roll, oh, that's a bumpy ride, so we, I have to make room for uh, the 
pals that are coming in. So. Now we await shipment. What do you guys think about uh, 150 bucks spent on a pallet jack? Is that a fair deal? I honestly didn't look them up at all, but it seems pretty fair. And this little end table, he wanted 15 bucks for it. That's going to help us uh, just kind of stay organized and clean. I didn't really care what the table looks like, honestly. It doesn't have to match anything. But one thing I'm working on is making sure we get everything off the ground. I'm tired of looking at stuff sitting on the ground. It's unprofessional, it's messy, it's unorganized. Well, I'm just going to use it right here to get like the laptop and the cell phones and stuff on top of the table. A little bit neater, it's off the floor. I think that's much better, right? 15 bucks and uh, we got a decent space. Not sold on this is going to stay here, but it's good for now. I gotta get the rest of the shipping done and uh, work prep for Ali. I'll see you guys when the uh, the goodies arrive. I'm very stoked. I left my dad a voicemail. I hope he joins us later too. It's gonna be a good time. So uh, don't go away. We're about to receive a lot of clothing. Guys, uh, they just called me. They're out right outside. So the stuff is here. Donations and throw away. Yeah. 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 It's so exciting, it honestly is. Uh, I know it's just a bunch of used dirty clothing, but uh, it's kind of like the next step, right? Like we're, we're kind of maturing and growing into this whole like, we're resellers thing. So here they are, uh, four pallets, jam packed. I think it's roughly 2000 pounds. I'm going to wait for Melinda to get here because I think uh, it's only fair. I think she'll be super excited to get through this stuff too. And uh, I haven't heard from my dad yet. Hopefully he calls back and comes and hangs out with us too and sorts. I did find this one table here that uh, I'll set up somewhere. Um, glad, obviously, I got the pallet jack so I can kind of reorganize. So we do have a good amount of space right here by the garage door where we can get stuff set up. It's our first time, and uh, with all things first time, uh, it just takes time to figure out and learn. But we do have some gloves in case there are some dirty diapers in there, you know? Mona's so nice. She came and brought me lunch. Hi. I want to say hi to people on here. Hello, internet people. <laughs> the people of the net. Uh, my dad just showed up. Uh, Jesse yeah. just left Ooh. with grandma. It was a short little party here. I'm ready. Mona's ready. ready? Into the darkness you go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Look at all the things. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I'm very excited. I know you are. You're actually generally, I, I was telling people earlier, part of the vlog, it was like, my dad and Munda are actually excited to do this. And I'm well, like... It's like your own personal bins. You know, no one's fighting me for this. I get to look through it and... Uh, yeah, I mean, who? that's a part of thrifting and reselling that everybody loves, right? Yeah. So this is just... Uh, the thrill of what could be in there, what could be in the store, what could be in the bins, yeah. what could be in these pallets. Plus it's private and there's nobody else here, which is awesome. That's right. Uh, so yeah, my dad's here. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick warehouse tour of what we've accomplished because you haven't seen that part yet. And then uh, we'll turn on the camera. We'll figure out how we're going to do it. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of things. I'm going to involve Allie as well. I want to pick her brain, kind of get set up and see, you know, what are we doing here? Because it's all brand new to us. So we're getting ready to open the first palette. Uh, what our plan is, is we are going to pull out the brands that we recognize, the ones that we are familiar with selling. Those are gonna go in our shopping carts. We do have some set up for trash because these are completely unsorted. There might be things with too much damage or too many stains or just stains in the wrong area, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and we don't want those, so we're gonna throw those right out. And then shelves for any shoes that might be in there. And then accessories, purses, things like that that aren't technically clothing, we're gonna set aside for now. 
and this is just our first sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open and we're all gonna line up, all right? And nobody can start until I say go. Murdered you on accident. You almost murdered me. <laughs> For the, let the record show, if she ever murders me, it wasn't an accident. <laughs> hey, whoa. Uh, so my dad showed up, and then that's right. Allie. If you remember, if you guys remember Allie, she's gonna be helping. Does anyone remember you? Everyone remembers you. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Instead of going to the bins, we'll just create our own bins. Do we all get a knife? No, we shouldn't all get a knife. No. <laughs> what what if we get upset at each other and we just have knives? That's my sweater. Oh boy. We're, uh, I think this is good. Yeah. We're all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back up, back up, sir. Back up. All right, back up, everyone. All right, Mona, you give us the, the sign. All right, ready? Set. Dig. <laughs> 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 You did great. That's just a, that's gonna be a one take. Awesome. Yeah, we don't. We honestly have no idea what's in here. So, you. I guess we can utilize the table. Just grab a bag, put it over there. Oh, that's yeah. Or sort out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're even like kind of semi-folded. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I see. Th oh, the first thing I see is. Uh, uh, Theory is a yes. really good brand, so that's good. Brand new Atex yeah, bras. Good, I mean, shoe. Nice. Are you still recording shoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, still recording. <laughs> we don't switch. Hunter boots? Nice, Dad. Oh, awesome. Well, what are you getting over there? Huh? Ovos dobre. Brava marca. Nice. That's a really good start. Some Hunter boots. Yeah, what'd you find? This is an exhilaration. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah. That's cool. That's $7. Velvet, but right, I'll put it on the. I thought $10. That we just said? Oh, uh, we cheap stuff over here. I so what? Let's say let's not call it cheap. Tip. Let's say low. Let's say lo low, low, low value. value. Sure, oh. low value. This is this retails. It looks like for 166 new. Okay, so. that's probably a goodie. That's nice. Nothing Brand new with tags, bra. Yeah. Uh, so where's good stuff then? I'm putting in the carts. Yes, but we're so using. The low end cart. Okay. 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 Blue is. I think we'll do so both carts that are good and we'll put the low value stuff in a bin. Okay, and you right. said theory Theory is great, yeah. Okay. So we'll put theory in there and then the cheaper items or the low value. There you go. Okay. What'd you find? Uh, some Ann Taylor stuff. Nice, good, good. We're gonna pick through some. Uh, I'll turn on the camera periodically to see what we're actually finding in here. So we're gonna set up the camera right there, and then when we find really cool stuff, we're gonna do a good stuff cam. So Mel, first good stuff cam. I found a skirt with a giraffe in the car, and it's a, I mean, you could kind of tell before you even pulled it out. It's a uh, Lily Pulitzer, let's Lord. see, hopefully I can. Unless it's like khaki, like yeah. pants. This is a Matilda Jane. That's always a very solid seller for us. So nice, uh, long, no, chunky cardigan, nice. and it's got some nice. fray so fringe, like, which is very in. It's a new very. My dad found an animal of some sort. <laughs> We're not sure if this is Puma or a crocodile. <laughs> He's also choking on laughter. Uh, but it's by Romeo and Juliet, which sounds like an awful Romeo brand. Julia, yeah. yeah, but hey, it's something. We'll have to look it up. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's really cool. That's oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Nice. And fun What'd you Bulldog? find? Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> look up pile. <laughs> no idea. So we got um, stuff that we we're gonna sell. Stuff that is like low end. Stuff that we're gonna look up. My dad found another coat of some sort. It's by, let's see, looks like a vintage tag. Love by Designs. Uh, maybe not, but it's made out of, oh, there's some rabbit hair. Right? Yeah, rabbit hair. Okay, cool. Yeah. Stuff from gold. Look up pile. And Melinda. Is confused. Perfect. Mel just found something pretty sweet. Yeah, I just put out this hair. I haven't, I haven't really looked closely to see if there's any flaws or whatever, but the brand is Salomon. Nice. Let's so take a look at the a, tags so people brand. can know. Where do you uh, see the brand? Really, uh, right on the, along the back here. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, you yep. can see it kind of cut off. Um, really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Salomon is a great brand. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, their boots, shoes, yeah. hiking, outdoor gear is extremely expensive. Right. So I'm excited to see this goes. Yeah, my dad found something nylonish. <laughs> What's that brand? Uh, no idea. Cloud Veal. Cloud Veal. We'll put that in the unsorted. 
What do you think so far, Mel? We're about a uh, quarter into this palette. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm really impressed with uh, the, the cleanliness of everything. Mm -hmm. Everything uh, we were talking just a little bit ago, nobody's really found anything with like major stains, anything like that, so, or rips or tears. So as far as quality, really good. Um, I mean, very pleased. A lot of like mid-brand stuff and the stuff that sells for a little less is still like good quality. Yeah. Your thoughts, Ellie, so far? Um, reiterating the same thing. Sure. It's, uh, everything is cleaner than we thought. I'm not seeing as many stains and rips and things that I expected to see. Nice. So just getting used to the brands and yeah. asking everyone questions. Yeah. It's a learning curve, uh, f yeah. I think, for yeah, for everybody. And the nice thing, like, uh, behind me here, this little collection here that we have, and then Mel has her own little pile right there of, like, lookup stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is where, like, you know, we get to also learn. Like, I've never seen this logo or seen this style or heard of this brand, and we can learn what's valuable. So that's kind of the nice part about gambling away some money and buying 2,000 pounds of clothing at a time. It seems like Melinda is finding all the great pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that one? Uh, this is a new tags Cabela's. Nice. That's like a pair of bush pants for hunting yeah. with a double lining. Nice. What's the retail? Does it say? Uh, Forty-five. Forty-five. We'll sell that for twelve bucks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, it's still going pretty well. We're about halfway through, looks like, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, good stuff. I see something else new with tags. Looks like a really old. Oh no, it was new with tags. Oh, ah, it's a new day. Never mind. Hey, look, Melinda found something cool again. Is it official? No, gear for sports. Ah, uh, it still might be licensed. Uh, yeah, can you show it to the cam? Yeah, nice little Red Wing. Yeah. Decent. And sell that for 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. Look at Melinda, found some more cool stuff because she's so cool. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. I don't know either, it's just but. Ghostbusters. Ghostbuster brand shirt. Uh, yes. Show the backside. There's ghosts on there. That's like, that, someone's going to buy that. That's like super, like. Retro. Yeah, it's a staple, man. Ghostbusters. Never watched it, but they say good things about it. You know who to call, though. Ah, uh, I don't. Do you? Ghostbusters! We're gonna get banned for uh, from YouTube because you sang part of the song. Yes! Glad found something cool. It's a cat riding a shark puking a rainbow. I almost <laughs> wore this today. I have this on a t-shirt. That's crazy. Someone wants that. Uh, I want it, but that's, that's not my size. This is like a kid's. <laughs> there she is. Uh, it's a perfect fit. <laughs> Can I get a twirl? I mean, there might be more excitement in the back. You have to peel this off of me. <laughs> I think uh, you just stay in you that all day. <laughs> Allie found some cool stuff. Look at what I found. It's Tinkerbell. No, it's not. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tinkerbell. It's see? It's Tinkerbell upside down, but right side up. It's Cinderella. You and Duel. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think Disney is your thing. Disney is my thing. Oh, look. Oh, all right. Oh, we found a goodie bag. Oh. These are all. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hold on. Snow White. Nice. Let's, let's play. Do you know your Disney stuff? I do. All right. I played so, Disney for like all right. high school stuff. Mm -hmm. Can I do the Jeopardy theme song or we get in trouble for that? I don't know. Oh, nice. Oh, you know okay, these one? are cool. Huh? Huh? Cool. Huh? I am huh? Moana. Moana. She does. With the little piggy. I don't remember piggy's name. Nice. Are oh, these are all Disney scrubs. scrubs. Oh, so maybe a nurse retired? Yeah. That's awesome. This one has a unicorn on it. But I like this nurse. A unicorn yeah. throwing up a shark on top of a cat. Not as good. Yeah. Not as good, that's for sure. Uh, you want to put those in that pile and we'll see what else we pull out of that goodie bag. Mini, Minions, Cinderella? No, that's Snow White. Snow White? Yeah, no. I know. I'm not from this country. Olaf. 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 It's Olaf. I like warm and hugs. Finding me. Nemo. I don't know the names. I, the fish. I know the fish. I don't know the octopus. Nice. Thing. That was a pretty exciting bag. Feel right. free to chime in on all things Disney below. If these women offended you guys and your Disney knowledge, especially Allie, because she's obviously not a Disney person at all, uh, feel free to comment down below and correct us. You know, it looks like Tinkerbell. I'm just going to say that. It's a blonde chick. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. I'm just, uh, I'm excited. You, you guys can keep, what, what'd you find? It's Chris Farley. I don't know who that is. It's Chris Lives in a van down by the river. Big man, big man, little jacket. Oh, okay. So we're doing different ones, and that's still good. I, I'm putting on the game pile. Lemon. Nice. Mona Fana Lulu. My dad just uh, pulled out a few items, including 
this Abercrombie and Fitch 100% shit, 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 shit land. 100% Shetland. 100% Shetland. Uh, it's shrunk, but it's good. And then a Patagonia on top of that. Uh, also like a woolly material. So nice, nice. nice indeed. Uh, some Land's End is decent. We got some uh, Loft is decent. All right. Decent stuff. What about this unbranded purple shirt? 12 bucks. <laughs> Decent. So we just finished going through the first palette and it took about uh, an hour, so we said, a little over an hour. So right now we have a bunch of stuff that is the lower value. We're going to put it back into the palette because we think there's probably gonna be about a palette's worth by the end of four palettes. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then we have our piles of keep. We have one there, one on the other side, and then we have a couple piles of brands that we're not really familiar with yet, so we're gonna have to look those up. All right, so now that we kind of sorted everything into this is a good brand, not a good brand, or a you know lower value brand, whatever. So we're gonna hang up the ones that we decided to keep. We still have to do another quality check on them, uh, pull the ones you know that need a wash, and also price them out. Uh, and then we have a whole cart full of things that we're not actually sure about. So then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna look them up and and figure out which pile those go in. So. Definitely a lot of work. Uh, this is a you know our our first time doing this, so yeah. we're kind of learning as we go. But uh, so far so good from the supplier. Um, we have a lot of work to do, and there's yeah. just a ton to learn about, like what's the best way, how do we proceed, what do we do with it, so on and so forth. Right. Yeah. So a lot of figuring that out, but I'm gonna get to work doing that, getting everything hung up. So Adine's going to be off to the post. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and also give us a thumbs up. Let us know if you want us to shoot another video where we go through another palette. If you like this type of video uh, where we find brands, sh share them with you, kind of join us on this like custom bins journey. Until next time, take care.